Hello everyone, Mohammed here again. In this video, I'll be going through the administrator and teacher configuration settings for AS for summary. Many of these settings overlap, but teachers may not need to know everything included in the administration section. If you are a teacher looking to see how to configure AS for summary, please head to this timestamp here. Administrators, please watch the entire video so that you can know what your settings do for the plugin. Once the plugin is installed, right after your Moodle database has gone through the applicable upgrade phase, you'll be greeted with the settings page. This can also be reached through site administration. Here, you as administrator will be able to set the defaults for the plugin across all of your courses. Here I will discuss what each of these do. The first administrator setting is give instructor permissions. If this checkbox is enabled, this will allow the block itself to change its ability to be enabled or disabled. As showcased on screen, I have disabled give instructor permissions. Now if we head over to block configuration, you will see that the block itself no longer has control over whether or not it can respond to questions. The remainder of these settings control the defaults for the block configuration settings found in the course page. It is important to point out that each course itself has its own unique settings, but you are simply setting the defaults. If you are unsure of what to choose, leave everything at their selected defaults. You can always return and change these defaults under Site Administration. Before we talk about the block configuration itself, I would like to briefly mention the two scheduled tasks that Ask for Summary uses, called Document Scanning and Form Scanning. Document scanning scans course resources and activities within the course that you have the block within. This happens between midnight and 6 a.m. Form scanning by default runs every 15 minutes to look for new user questions found in the selected form option. If you would like to change these intervals, head to Site Administration, Server, and then Schedule Task, and look for these two within the list. Under the Edit column, you will see a gear aligned in their row. You can click this and change the timing of the task. My recommendation is to leave them as is, particularly document scanning, as it can really slow down site performance. The first step to configuring Ask for Summary is adding the block to your course. Head to whatever course you'd like to add the block for. In the top right hand corner, click Turn Editing On. Afterwards, on the left hand side, scroll down and look for Add a Block. You should see Ask for Summary. Click on it, and now on the right hand side of the course, where your other course blocks are located, you should see Ask for Summary. Now click on the gear within the block itself. You should see the option Configure Ask for Summary Block you will be redirected to a new page. Here, you will see a variety of settings. The first setting is the Ask for Summary Helper Name. This is the name that users will refer to in their questions. If Hi, then the helper name is included in the post, or exactly Hi, then the helper name is the subject of the message, Ask for Summary will register the question. The next setting is Enable Ask for Summary. This controls whether or not Ask for Summary will respond to user questions and go through the forms and give them an answer. This may or may not be disabled depending on your administrator's settings. The next setting is the Ask for Summary response method. Ask for Summary has three methods for choosing which forms to get questions from. It can either get questions from every form in the course, a specific forum in the course, or a forum that Ask for Summary generates itself. If you select an existing form in the course, you will need to select which form to use. If you select an automatically generated form, you may change the name that it has by default. If you would like to change this later, simply change this text box. Under the next header, you will see several checkboxes that relate to course module scanning. A course module is a resource activity that you have in your course, and currently Ask for Summary supports URLs, PDFs, Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, and built-in Moodle pages. Each of these checkboxes controls whether Ask for Summary should check over these file types. Additionally, there is a drop-down box called URL Crawling Depth. Sometimes web pages will have web pages within them. 
If you would like Ask for Summary to scan these kind of web pages, change this to two or three. However, my recommendation is to keep this at one, as sometimes a URL will have many web pages within it and can slow down document scanning substantially. You may also notice that PDF parsing is disabled by default. This is because it requires the external application Abbey Word. See the documentation page for more information. There are also answering settings relating to when a student asks a question under Summary Generation. The first one is the number of documents. When Ask for Summary answers a question, it chooses from a certain amount of course resources or documents to pick sentences from. My recommendation is to keep this at three or lower. The other dropdown controls how many sentences should be returned to the user's question in the form post. These sentences can be selected from any of the documents selected from the previous dropdown. With that, you have now successfully configured Ask for Summary. Make sure to check out the following video, which covers how to use the plugin and maximize its efficiency. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.